Hi guys, welcome to Rap Chris House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Sagittarius. We're gonna see what's the energy that's surrounding you guys, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated, okay? All right, my love. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for joining me. For all my subscribers, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me. For all my members, guys, thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Guys, remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves. If you would like me to do more Sagittarius readings, please let me know, okay? Let me know in the comments. And I'll add that to my weeklies. All right. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength. And the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Sagittarius. What's currently going on. Justice. Libra energy. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you have a choice. You have a very significant choice to make. The tower Oh, something that you were building on, on something that was unstable. So for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you have a choice whether you stay, whether you go, whether you get married, whether you not get married, whether you stay in a relationship or not stay in a relationship. There's a big energy here. Scorpio, Libra, energy, queen of swords. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're dealing with someone here that you can't trust. For some of you guys right now, present moment, there's an energy here of you could be going through some type of legal matter matters right now, present moment, and you're finding difficulties in those in that legal battle itself. Someone here could truly be losing their home in a legal battle, in a divorce, in, in some type of way, shape, or form. Yeah. For a lot of you guys right now, present moment, there's an energy here of not really worried about what you've lost or what you're losing because you're content on your own. There's a big energy of you present moment being content on your own. It's like it's worth the loss. I'm getting an energy of, for some of you guys, there's an energy here of whatever it is that you're losing out on, it's still justice for you. You're still winning. That's a big energy. That's a big energy. Yeah, 10 of pentacles. Look at that. For a lot of you guys right now, present moment, it's one of those things, do you want to marry? A lot of you guys are going through a divorce or a separation. You're ending a relationship, a marriage, something that you've been building. You're walking away from it or it's ending. There's a lot of energy here for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, not really knowing if you want to be committed to something, not really knowing if something's going to work itself out, but I'm getting an energy of you yourself for a lot of you guys, not wanting it, not truly wanting a marriage, not truly wanting a commitment, something that you once held a lot of regard. This is like you not wanting it anymore. You don't want to build anymore. For some of you guys, there you could have been cheated out of some money. For some of you guys, there's there's a loss here, a loss in some type of legal judgment itself. There's been a loss in financial wealth. There's been like loss of some type, being cheated out of some type of inheritance for some of you guys. That's a big energy as well. That's a big energy as well. Show me spirit. I'm definitely getting a big energy of a separation of a family dynamic ending. Yeah, but I feel like there's an energy here of you you feeling like you're winning no matter what though. What's the current conflict? Knight of Pentacles, the star, and the moon. Wow. Your current conflict right now, present moment, is getting the things that you really and truly want. I feel like it, it talks about we have the moon and we have the star. That's Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer energy. See that? For a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with a younger earth sign. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That's a big energy. But this is an energy of something not moving forward. There's a big energy here of something not moving forward. Here with the star and the moon. There's something that's being hidden. There's some type of wish, some type of dream that you want. That there is some type of illusion that's surrounding it right now, present moment. Getting what it is that you want. That's your current conflict right now, present moment. Um, picking up in your finances, getting your wishes, getting your dreams, your dream job. 
um, getting a fulfilled relationship right now, present moment. There's an energy here of there's some illusions surrounding what it is that you want that you're not actually getting. It's not actually working out the way that you thought it would work out. Give me past energy for my Sagittarius. We have the Six of Wands and the Three of Swords. So for I feel like for a lot of you guys, you had to give up on something that meant something to you in the past. It really and truly hurt your feelings. It really and truly broke your heart. For some of you guys, you had to give up on, you had to give up. I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of giving, giving up on your dreams, giving up on your skills, giving up on your talents. Give, there's an energy here of you giving up on something that you wanted. Something that you wanted a lot, big time. And there's an energy here of like, you hiding the fact that it bothered you. There's an energy here of you hiding the fact that you not getting that bothered you. That it disappointed you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is like you saving face. There's a big energy here of you saving face. Give me future energy. Four of Wands in the reverse. It talks about separation. That talks about a divorce. I feel like for there's an energy here for a lot of you guys. You've kind you kind of gave up on your dreams, on your wishes, on your desires, on your goals. This is like you losing yourself in someone's presence. For a lot of you guys, you're losing in the near future. This is like you losing your home, losing your foundation, losing a relationship, losing a family aspect. That's a strong energy. That's a strong energy. Yeah. Show me spirit. We have the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Emperor. So for a lot of you guys, this talks about communication. also talks about fast action. There's a lot of traveling. The Emperor here, I feel like for a lot of you guys in the near future, this is you taking back control of your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys in the near future, you're taking back control of your life. See that strong Aries energy. We have Cancer energy and we have that Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But that talks about your action. This is about you talking. This is about you speaking, speaking into existence what it is that you want. This is about you taking action towards the things that you want. This is about you standing in your truth, standing firm in your truth. With the chariot here, this is you overcoming obstacles. This is you take make this is milestones. This is breakthroughs that you guys will be actually over. This is where you're going. With the emperor here, this talks about you being the authority, you being the leader. This is you taking a leadership role back into your life, taking back control of your life. I feel like that's only after you walk away from a relationship or end a marriage or some type of family dynamic. There's a big energy here in the near future that only until then, only until then, Will you actually be able to take back control of your life? Will you actually really and truly be able to go towards your wishes, your dreams, your desires, and your goals? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, like you were working on it. You were working on it, but you let this lay. You put this aside. I feel like you put this aside for a family dynamic. You put this aside for a relationship. For some of you guys, I'm definitely getting an energy of you losing yourself in a relationship, in a family dynamic. Yeah. For some of you guys right now, present moment, you are married or you have made a decision to commit to something. This talks about longevity. But with this 10 of pentacles in the reverse, this is telling me like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, it's like you're not sure that you want this. There's a current energy like you're not sure that you want this. Show me justice. Page of wands. I feel like that the spark that you once had is the spark that you once had in this marriage, in this relationship is gone. Look, something has reached its full potential. Like you're manifesting something new in your life. Like something has reached its full potential. Like I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you're wanting to turn the page. You're wanting to move on to the next phase of your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of you of, of a relationship, of a connection. Because this is a big relationship, a connection, something that you have committed yourself to. And I feel like it's cost you. So for some of you guys, it's almost like giving me an energy of costing you your soul, costing you your true happiness, your true fulfillment. And there's an energy here of you like really and truly like trying to make a decision. What is it that you're going to do? I do see in the near future, there is going to be a separation. I do see in the near future, there's going to be a separation. In the past, there was a big energy here of you hurting yourself. Because there was something that you wanted and you didn't go after it. You, stopped, you didn't pursue it, but it was something that you were very successful with. 
something that could have given you some great fortune, some great fame, something that really and truly put you in the limelight, something that really and truly like you had talent, you had skill, you have talent, you have skill. But I give a I give an energy of a lot of you guys giving that up for a relationship, for a marriage, for a commitment. But I do see in the near future, I feel like there's going to be some type of adjustment, some type of transformation that's going to happen in your life because I see you actually separating. I see you actually stepping up for yourself towards the things that you want, really and truly towards the, thing that's, the things that you want. Let's see. What's the advice, Spirit? What's the advice for my Sagittarius? Reflect on your priorities. Strong Aquarius energy. So a lot of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, but this is about you reflecting on your priorities. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, your priorities are the things that are important to you, what matters to you. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, you are reflecting on that, on the on your priorities. Step up and lead. See that? A lot of you guys, Spirit, are saying, Spirit is saying for you to step up and lead. Take back leadership role of your life. I feel like there's a big energy of a lot of you guys losing your way, giving your power to someone else. This was because you wanted, you wanted a family dynamic. You wanted, there, there was something that you wanted that you wanted at some point in time more than you even wanted when it came to your dreams and to your wishes. But I feel like there's a group of you guys where you kind of lost your way in the mix of it. And it's like you're wanting to find that person again. There's a big energy here of you guys wanting to find that person again. All right, my loves, if this message resonates, please hit that like button. If you would like me to do more Sagittarius's readings, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, bye guys.